Hey everyone, it's Junaid from Man Influence here. Hope you look good, feel good and are ready to prosper because in this video, I want to talk about what the best sunscreen is. So hey look, I'm not someone that has tried every single sunscreen product out there for men. But recently, in the last few months, I actually have tried two brands out and both brands are very popular when it comes to men's skincare products and thus, I thought it makes sense to try both of these products out in summertime to test out which one is the best. So the brands that I'm talking about is Geology and Lumin and I've already made a comparison video when it comes to their skincare products but in this video I want to particularly specialize when it comes to the sunscreens and look at what they provide. I've tried both of these products at summertime here in the UK and Croatia because I went on vacation to Croatia for a few days and I took both of these products with me to still test them out. I had an amazing time there and it's a beautiful country and when it comes to the weather it's amazing too. And thus that's where I took the testing of these two sunscreens to the next level. And when it comes to this Lumin product, a few months ago it wasn't even available internationally but only in the USA. So it only has been a few months since this product is available internationally. And when it comes to the Geology product, this product is actually quite new and has only been launched for a few months. And when it comes to Geology, this brand has recently opened a UK distribution center so when it comes to customers from the UK and EU it will be a lot easier and quicker to get your new parcels. Anyways, now I would really like to compare both of these products and thus if you're someone that is excited please leave a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and with that said, let's jump into the video. Alright, so when it comes to the price of the Lumen UF Defensive Moisturizing Balm it is $32. While when it comes to the Geology Essential Sunscreen, it is $45. So the Geology product is more expensive, but at the same time, this one is a lot bigger than this one. So this one has 75 milliliters in it, while the Lumet product only has 30 milliliters. So for every dollar spent on the Geology product, you get 1.67 milliliters, while for Lumen is 1.07. So the price of the Lumet product is lower than of Geology, but when it comes to your bank for your buck, the Geology product provides you almost twice as much. On the Lumen website, it says UV Defense Moisturizing Balm better damage control than the rich and famous. Don't take your sunscreen at face value, you deserve better. Our lightweight SPF 30 all-in-one formula not only shields your skin from sun damage, but it also contains essential anti-aging ingredients that work hard for your skin all day. Get the benefits of a non-greasy mineral-based sunscreen without looking like a ghost. When it comes to fighting the signs of aging, it all starts with a good defense. And you know, that's one of the things that I really like when it comes to the Lumen product. So compared to a lot of other mineral-based products when it comes to sunscreen products, most of them will end up making your skin look very pale due to the mineral-based ingredients in it. But when it comes to this Lumen product, it doesn't have that. And actually the same goes for Geology too. And that's what makes this comparison video so exciting. Because on the Geology website, it says that it provides sun protection, anti-aging and a smoother skin. It says sun protection is key to anti-aging. This is broad spectrum SPF 30 with a combination of mineral and physical sunscreens to provide maximum protection from UVA and UVB rays. But this is skincare, not sunscreen. It's hard to find a product that combines oil and fragrance-free, ultralight, invincible and mattifying. That's what we've done and it took years to design. And that's what makes this geology product so special because if you compare it to actual sunscreen products, they end up being too thick on your skin and thus you end up having very oily skin especially when it's very hot outside because obviously it's very important to protect your skin but most of us don't want that sunscreen oily look to deteriorate our looks and when it comes to the smell of it I know personally that if I'm gonna use some sort of perfume or other sort of fragrance and if I end up using the sunscreen it will just ruin my entire smell and now let me quickly go over both of these products by applying on my finger and then on my face and show you the results. So this is the Lumen product, so let me quickly open it up now and then now I'm gonna apply it on my fingers. There we go. That's one little pump over here and that's the amount I'm gonna use on my face now. So now I'm gonna use it on this side of my face because I don't want to use it on this side because I'm gonna use the Geology product over here. So when it comes to the product, all you have to do is to apply it on your face and then after that, you just circle it around and make sure it really goes into your skin. And as you can tell, it is quite lightweight, but compared to the Geology product, which I'm gonna use in a bit, you see that it isn't as lightweight as the Geology product. And as you can tell, you're actually meant to use this product for your entire face, and I'm only using for half of my face. And thus, that's why it's looking more like this than it actually should have been. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much, because if you continue to circle it around, it will still get in your skin. And that's the good thing about this Lumen product. 
compared to your ordinary sunscreen products. And I've also applied it on my beard just to show it to you guys because for those individuals, I don't personally recommend you to apply it too much on it because then you'll end up having this white grayish look. So when it comes to those individuals, try to minimize this because at the end of the day, your face hair also protects you from the sun. And there we go, that's pretty much it when it comes to this product. And when it comes to the fragrance of this product, it doesn't really have a very strong smell. But when it comes to the smell that it does have, it's not my personal preference. So the product says that it doesn't end up making you look like a ghost or very pale. But when it comes to this product, you really need to make sure that it goes into your skin. Because as you can tell over here, it still has a little bit of that white area. And thus, and thus I need to apply a little bit more force to make sure it goes into my skin. Although I must say that I've used a little bit too much of the Lumin product than I actually should have done. Moving on to the Geology product. It's a broad spectrum SPF 30 and it has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide in it and it's water resistant for 40 minutes and that's something that I think is very cool. So when it comes to this product, let me apply it on my finger now and after that, I'll apply it on my face. So let me open it up now. And as you can tell, I've already used this product quite a lot and that's the only downside when it comes to the packaging. In my opinion, it's easier to apply on your hands or on your face because you just squeeze it a little bit. But when it comes to the packaging, it does end up making your product look like this, a little white mess, I guess. But anyways, let me quickly apply the product on my finger and then after that I'm gonna apply it on my face. So as you can tell I've only applied a little bit on my finger because I don't want to use too much of this product. So let me quickly close this now and then I'm gonna put it on my face. So they say that it's extremely lightweight and I must agree. So comparing this to the Lumen product, I feel like that this is a little bit more lightweight than that product. Although that product is also perfectly fine if you're someone that wants a product that's more lightweight compared to ordinary sunscreens. All right, so let me quickly apply it on my face here. So I'm gonna do it on my right side and obviously for the camera it's the left side. So as you can tell, it is very lightweight. It really goes quickly into your skin and it is pretty much vaporizing in my skin. You barely see it anymore. So it goes into my skin a lot quicker than the Lumen product. But when it comes to this product, it is a combination of minerals and physical sunscreen. So the way they've done this is very amazing in my opinion because the Lumen product doesn't have any sort of minerals in it, but yet it still leaves a little bit of that white color. Well, when it comes to this product, it doesn't actually do it as much in my opinion. Except when it comes to my forehead, and this is most likely because of the skin being a little bit more stubborn than the rest of your skin. So when it comes to the skin on my forehead, I do have to apply it several more times, use more force to make sure it really goes into the skin. But other than that, it's generally very lightweight, it's really easy to put on your skin, and they say it's fragrance free, but it does have a tiny little smell to it. And in my opinion, it isn't too bad. It smells a lot better than the Lumin product. So let me quickly finish this off and then I'll talk a little bit more about both of these products. All right, so I'm finished putting on my face and as you can see, this is the Lumin side and this is the Geology side. And when it comes to both of these products, this side feels like it has more some sort of liquid on it while this side feels a little bit more dry. So depending on your skin and your personal preferences, I hope this helps you out in some way. So if you're gonna use the Lumen product, if you're someone that ends up going for the Geology product, it will give you more of that shiny look. And now when it comes to both of these products, the main concern wasn't as to whether either one of these products would be good enough, because in my opinion, both of them work fantastically, especially just speaking of both of these brands, they're really killing it. The Lumin has amazing skincare products for men, but so does Geology, and they always end up making sure that the product they provide to the market is the best of the best. And thus, that's what makes this video so interesting if you compare both of these brands and to look at their sunscreens to see which one is better. And that's where my long period of testing comes into place because I've checked both of these products out here in the UK prior to us having great weather. And then after that, we had a heat wave for one week here, and that was unbearable. And pretty much after the heat wave, the weather was alright and then I went to Croatia where it was a lot sunnier and I tested both of these products out while going to the beach, just simply going out or even going to the gym there. I ended up hitting the gym at the Olympic Taekwondo Club in Croatia, which I thought is pretty cool. But anyways, enough talk. So when it comes to both of these products, I've tried them out several times in different locations to make sure I can actually verify which one I find better than the other products. And when it comes to both of these products, in my opinion, while I was sitting at home, I prefer the Lumin product compared to the Geology product because while staying inside, this product made my skin look less oily compared to the Geology product. However, when it comes to both of these products, when I was going outside, hitting the gym, just going to the beach, whether it was here in the UK or abroad in Croatia, 
in my experience when it comes to this product it ended up making my skin feel a lot more oilier than the geology product even though when it comes to this product when i was inside at home it wasn't doing that and i have to be honest that's the main difference that i found between these two products relative to how it actually feels how lightweight the product is but when it comes to your daily life when it comes to this product i feel like it's better if you're someone that isn't that active don't plan to go out a lot go to the beaches because that way this product will make your skin feel very oily but when it comes to this product when i was inside i felt like this product made my skin feel more oily relative to the lumen product but when it comes to being really active going to the beaches going to the gym I felt like this product was better. So to quickly sum it up, if you're someone that isn't that active and if you like, you want to get a sunscreen product to simply protect your skin or whatever your reason is, I would recommend you to go for Lumen. If you're someone that will stay more at home or even go to the office but isn't that active, well if you're someone that wants to get a sunscreen product and you feel like you're a very active person going to the beaches, going to the gym, going to work or whatever activity you're doing in that particular case I would recommend you to get Geology although those are my two cents when it comes to comparing these two products but also the price is a huge factor for both of these products as well so this product is $32 while this product is $45 but when it comes to this product it provides you a better bang for your buck compared to the Lumen product. So when it comes to both of these products, there is not something that I really dislike about them. Although when it comes to this product, it can get a little bit messy as you've seen previously in this video. And when it comes to the Lumen product, they've also got the normal moisturizing balm. And in my opinion, that's probably one of the best moisturizing balms I've ever tried. And comparing that to the UV moisturizing balm, I feel like that this product isn't quite as good as the moisturizing balm. By the end of the day, you use this moisturizing balm to protect your skin and it really does the job so it isn't that deep so i have both of these products linked down below and i'll try to get some sort of discount code if it's possible i'll try to reach out to the brands and try to give you guys the best deals if you're interested anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you genuinely appreciate all of the time and effort i've put into this video and if you're someone that would love to support your product please consider to the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm anyways Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.